Welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of Bleakshire. I couldn't think of a better name, I guess. Why did I call it this? Anyways, so we got an action-packed game of improving the life of our peasants' plan today. Or, I think we do, anyways. So the first thing I would like to kind of do here is... I'd like to kind of do some city planning here. Uh, so let me go here into our industry here. So our industry should really kind of be kept separate from our residential and kind of even our... I'd even go so far as to say even the farming. So I'm thinking like this northern-ish part of the island here. Or maybe even kind of this corner of the island. Maybe a little bit down here and here. We'll kind of leave for a sort of industry. Yeah, we'll kind of leave that for uh, for our more heavy for our more heavy industry. Um, I'd like to expand farming into this part, but down here in this area, I'd like to kind of do residential over here, residential over here. Again, this is good green farming. Maybe build up some residential around that. So I think that's kind of stuff we're going to begin laying out today. I would like to... Wait, how much... Can I afford a cottage? I can afford a cottage. What does a cottage require? A cottage basically just has... It's more space efficient. So I'm going to do a couple things here. I don't want to lay a track around the castle. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I want to build a, a cottage just a little bit away from it. All right, that looks okay. We'll build a couple more things here. I foresee another forester in our future. Uh, yeah, I think I'll put the forester, like, right here. Yeah, I, a forester there will be fine. Food is doing mwah, chef's kiss, and I've set the place on fire. That's not good, but fortunately there's water super close by, so they should put it out. Hopefully before anything breaks. I say breaks. Before hopefully anything, like, dies. See all kinds? Come on, guys. Oh, thank goodness. They put it out. It's a loaf! Wait, it's a high fire risk? How are these high fire risk? Huh. Well, I guess that's kind of a food for thought thing. So we do, we can build a a well. That requires a lot of stone, though. Which... We will need a lot of stone kind of moving forward. So it may benefit us to build another quarry there. And that's looking good. We got, we're got we we're good on food. Food's looking A-OK. -okay. We might actually be full up on food storage. Yeah, we're full up on food storage. What would it cost me to build a small granary? So a granary is going to just store wheat, which definitely benefits us to build uh, so that our... One, we can store more food, support a larger population, but then our... Our peasants don't have to walk as far to get to the castle. Uh, how are the peasants? The peasants are in good health. Uh, I think our peasants could be a little happier, maybe? I guess that's... We'll deal with that in a little bit. So there's these unusable stone right here, which 
you know, that kind of sucks. Uh, we can actually remove stone with industry, but that's like super late game. It requires tools, and we're not near close enough to that yet. Uh, I want to check my... How's my population being allocated here? No builders, because we're not building anything. Uh, some farmers. Yep, maxed out on farmers. The orchid's being taken care of. I'm actually going to change this here. I want food to be staffed at all times. Because if we run out of food, we got bigger problems. Stockpile, that's important. Timber workers, important. Quarry, important. But food, keeping food alive and well, that's uh, very critical to the, <laughs> honestly, long-term survival of our peasantry. Ooh, six new people. Ooh, four new people. Okay, all right. I have one idle person. What? Oh, that's okay. Here. I'm going to build a path this way. Now I'm leaving a floor between the roads here because when I when we get enough to build a mansion, that is a takes up a 4x4 four four area. Honestly, I did put this a cottage in a very poor spot but we're just gonna kind of have to deal with my shitty placement of that for right now uh, once we start getting mansions I can begin dem uh, demolishing these hovels begin kind of moving my population over to this corner plus 28 all right so we can still support a pretty uh, decent sized population That's very close to building. I'm actually going to speed this up a little bit here. I'm going to go to uh, double speed. Fast speed. Just to help things kind of move along a little bit faster. And now comes the fun part. I'm going to begin kind of clearing out... Ooh, another bunch of people decided to uh, to stay with us in our uh, little community. So I would say it's already time to build another cottage. I still need a, a lot more stone. But unfortunately, they're not being worked. I would kind of like to fight my way over to that stone quarry over there. I think there's... That's iron over there and there. There's another stone quarry. Do I have to go to, like, another island to get more stone? Oh, yeah, that place is littered with stone over there. A couple stone deposits there. Why did I settle on this island? What was previous me thinking? I probably wasn't thinking, to be completely honest with you. Ooh, do I have enough to do the a granary? Yes, I do. Let's put a granary, like, right here. I would say our next thing... Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Our peasants want a tavern, so a tavern is, is kind of a cool little... Uh, I wouldn't say it's a unit, but a cool little building. There's the baker. Tavern, tavern. There is Cottage Manor Tavern. So, villagers enjoy socializing here. Com uh, consumes food. Improves villager happiness. It uh, it provides a happiness buff to in an, in an area. It's, it's... Our villagers are kind of demanding it. Until our ha villagers are happy... The happier our villagers, basically, the more we can tax them later. And the more likely that villagers will settle here. Now, this may seem like a completely random placement of road. And you'd be correct. I am kind of winging road placement at this point. Uh, 
I'm just buying time until I can get... Should I get the cottage or should I get the tavern? Stone in my... I'm at 59. Let's get one more cottage. And is it time to do a... So this is another thing that can... Uh, this is another reason why I'm kind of separating out my uh, industry. This is buildings like this charcoal maker. It makes charcoal, which makes our villagers in turn happier. I think this is the button for charcoal. Yeah. So I want the charcoal maker to be kind of close to the stockpile because it will take from that. Ooh, I could build another cottage. How much stone am I producing a year? I am producing plus 5, 16. Okay, not very much, but I should just build the tavern. And I'll put the tavern, I guess, right... The plan is to eventually move all my residential down over here. Down over in this area. So I think the tavern is definitely maximized. Will it reach the most amount of people like here. Slowly move residential over this way. And I think I will build another forester. Yes, I'll build another forester. And I will build another build one more charcoal maker. But the charcoal maker is obviously because the process of making charcoal is to, well, burn wood. I'll just kind of shove that off, in, off there in the corner. Now, let's just kind of... Ooh, can I, like, do tax rate stuff? Oh, hold on a second. Let's look at one thing here real quick. Oh, I could build a treasury if I wanted to. Which would allow us to get some of these more buildings. And also, you know, overtaxing the peasantry into poverty, you know, that's the... That's the bleak shire way. Our peasants are merely there to pay us. Look at that. I want to keep an eye on food here. So 82 was food was eaten last year. We're producing, we're actually producing a lot. So our orchards are also getting full up. So let's build a produce storage. Let's say right here, we'll build a produce storage. So produce storage just holds the fruit. So the fruit produced in our orchards is going to go over here. Lots of charcoal being made. 22 charcoal. 8 per is consumed by homes. How are we doing on storage here? Getting kind of full on storage. This is consuming food. Alright, so our peasants are... Excuse me. Uh, we're trending towards 67 happiness, which is good. Four. I got plenty of beds. I need to attract more people over to Bleakshire. Right here, I will put two... So wood, I have... Oh. That's awkward. Hold on. There we go. I You can't... You can only build so far away from the roads, and it looks like I had violated that a little bit. I'll build two orchards there, and then I want to fill in with a few more uh, grain fields. I really want to make sure that I've got plenty of food, because as we begin to expand here, uh, we're going to need a lot of food. Our 
our foresters are foresting. Kind of waiting for that magic number of 50 stones. So I'm going to try to avoid building things that'll eat into that number. At least leave four. All right. So that's a pathway to the stone. It's kind of ugly. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of it, but that least that at least leaves us like another another path for stone. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking here, I know I'm waiting on 50 stone, but I'm going to spend a little bit on building a well. So a well is another source of water for our kingdom, or it provides a source of water for basically firefighting. So the last thing I want is this, these uh, cottages that we've put up and this tavern to catch fire and be destroyed. Somebody played too much fireball by Pitbull. <laughs> uh, 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 I have no friends. And honestly, we do need another. I know I said I was waiting for. Oh, excuse me. Come on, there we go. I. I know I said I was waiting on. Stone for the treasury, but need more people. At least we're capturing most of this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, we're at least capturing most of this fertile area over here. I might throw one more path going up here. I don't know if I meant to do this. Throw a stockpile. Here? Here, no. Throw a stockpile there. I'm gonna begin setting this up for... Uh, for industry, basically. As well as farming. Food is doing phenomenal. I think I can leave farming alone for a while. I would eventually like to build a windmill, which will make a... Uh, is that just for arch... For just, just for these kind. Okay, that'll make my grain fields more efficient. I would eventually like to get one of those. Food storage is very well. Down to four stones. So we did have a hovel start on fire. Two, but two hovels start on fire. Will the rain help? I'm curious if the rain will actually help put out the fire. Residents want access to drinkable water. So is that a factor in happiness as well? It is! Hmm. Who knew? Long term, I would like them to uh, to kind of delete this sort of this residential district, and I think I will begin with this hovel here. 95 beds. Yeah, I can delete a bunch of these. Delete that. Delete you. Brings me up to 76. So I'll kind of migrate this population over into these uh, cottages. And we're at a full 80. We need this quarry now. The, at this point, stone is really, is really the thing that's holding us up. Available too far away. Unavailable too far away. So I noticed that it's saying that our fruit is too far away. Our fruit's over here, which, it, to be fair, is kind of far away. I check. There is a... Oh, the fire brigade. That's kind of a new thing. 
the mason. Repair structures with stone. I want to look at a market. Market workers carry extra food and charcoal to the market to create easy access for the heads of household. We're still kind of a long ways away from being able to do that, in that it's going to require... It comes down to requiring tax money. So I think really my... I think really my next big task is to... Uh, basically get quarry workers uh, on the go to get as much stone as we can, because we're going to need... What did I say? We need 50? Treasure. We're going to need 50. So let's fast forward this. Oh, my stone went away. From where? From whence it? From whence it went? There's two stone there. Got a stone there. We're at 13 stone. I wonder what's consuming stone. I really want to get the treasury up and running. Another successful harvest. So we can't really make life more pleasant for the peasants yet. At 34 stone. I've got 16 quarry workers. Each quarry should be making 20 stone per year. We're almost there. Build the treasury here. Now we can kind of slow things back down and quickly expand our, our population out. So once we uh, once we have a happy enough population, our peasants want a church or a library next. Okay, what's a church running these days? Keeps peasants from despairing. Gladly accepts any donations. Cemeteries. Oh, this is something new. Cemeteries are a dignified and sanitary resting place for our departed. Doom tomes eventually disappear, so summary cemetery plots can be reused. Uh, caretakers maintain the cemeteries. Okay. Uh, garden. Bonus happiness. Other gardens. Interesting. Uh, that I've seen. The church to help peasants from despairing. Libraries uh, for knowledge. Clinic to help with the plague. Hospital to really help with the plague. Uh, fountains just to look nice. Oh, and provides water in a large fountain. Bigger happiness. Bathhouse, that's new. These are kind of just dick measuring things. The Great Library is a new thing. Interesting, a church. Those are all kind of new buildings. Maritime, I don't think I've really putzed with this one yet. So that's a bridge, a drawbridge. There's goods for pickups, transport ship. Hmm. That's all kind of neat. Oh, our treasury's done. So let's begin taxing the peasants. So they will be a little sad because uh, they are being taxed, but Honestly, we need to begin. Uh, we need to begin taxing the peasants, so that we can begin to build our manors and our uh, higher tiered buildings. Job priorities. Tax collectors are going to be the lowest one, so we do need a. 
So we do need a population boom right now. We're definitely uh, well sustained here, but we certainly need a population boom. I would like to save up for a for manors, but I think cottages are going to have to do for now. No more cottages. Let's go for a big population boom here. But I want to be set up for a lot of peasants very quickly. Right, another five, that's good. And that hovel is burning down. Uh, I'm not too terribly depressed about that because I kind of want to get rid of the hovels anyways. I think the hovels just inherently make them unhappy. So it wouldn't be too bummed if those were to suddenly collapse. Ooh, look at that, lots of charcoal. Good, 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 good. That's definitely going to help the happiness. Oh, we got our first gold. Uh, nine in tax revenue. Oh, there's not enough population for... Okay. Once I get these houses up, we're, we'll hopefully get a huge population boom. We will uh, We'll get rid of these couple of hovels. Uh, we'll build a... I'm going to draw out some road here. We'll get a market over here, so that our market over there, that'll be kind of nice. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. That would be one, two, three, four. And then I want to cut over here. And don't know, one of our cottages are burning. Did they stop it? Oh, I think the rain put it out, actually. That's super good. Oh, it looks like my uh, some of my fields flooded, so we're not going to get a harvest out of those, unfortunately. What's food doing? Food's still doing really good. So these are almost built, so it's time to can the rest of these hovels. Uh, you're a few of you are going to be homeless. A lot of you are going to be homeless. Oops. Alright, I shouldn't be building bridges, I shouldn't be managing towns, I should be burning them to the ground. Stick with what you know. Just waiting on a couple wood here. There we go. There we go. So this should really jump up my population. Or the capability of population. Beds. 120 beds. Nice. And that's about the edge of my tavern's range as well. So I will line the back here with probably manors once we get in the capability of building those. Need 35 stone and 25 gold. Uh, 20? We're on year 20 right now. Uh, 4 found it satisfactory. So we're at 89. Let's see. Oh, we gained another 6 people. Alright. Uh, looks like we gained a few more in Tax collectors, marketeers. Oh, better put out that mansion, guys. I'm gonna be pissed. There's a good spot for that. All right, good. Ten people found it satisfactory. I need a little bit more money, and then we'll get a. Actually, what's really gonna increase their happiness? Kind of having access to... I'm going to build a market first. What's the tavern? Where's the market? What's the difference between markets? So the small market uh, carries extra wood and charcoal to the market to create easy access for heads of the household. I think the difference is the big market will just store more. So one, two. 
I'm gonna put you right here. Here. Oh, here. Yeah, there. That's a pretty good central location of what's gonna be my first residential area here. And I think I can finally can that mansion. Fix my road here. This 33 from last year? What happened? Or what did happen? Ooh, I can also build a stone road, but that still that requires a lot of tax money. I'm not willing to delve yet, but it'll allow my peasants to walk faster. my granary looking. Windmill is 15 tax dollars, but it will increase everything in adjacent tiles. This would do one, two, three, six. So here's what I am going to do. I'm going to set up to... I'm going to set this up to be a little bit of a another... Am I going to set that up to be a little bit of a farming area? Really set up right here to be another part of the farming area. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's build a windmill. I was going to put it right here, but I think right here would be better. Put a windmill there and some farms right along there. Those will get a boost from the fact they're adjacent to a windmill. And I will fill in a few more farm plots. We'll fill in a few more farm plots, and it might benefit us to get a, a big old granary. So right here... I will build the big grain. No, right here, I'll build the big grain, right? Yeah. Everybody got easy access to everything? Yeah. So that should definitely help the, uh, should definitely help the kind of morale of our, of our peasantry. I think we're doing okay as far as charcoal goes. Might put in a third charcoal maker, now that I think about it. That might be a inspired idea. And then, ooh, we just grew. A hundred souls look to you for leadership. Those idiots. And we have no workers working the tax booth, so we're not going to get any taxes. Okay, this is going to be a controversial opinion to be sure, but... Kind of need constant tax collectors, because otherwise, if we're not taxing the people, we can't improve their lives. Oh my god, that sounds like that could be political propaganda. And with that... I'm going to end the episode right here. When we come back next time, we'll probably expand out our residential area a little bit more. We'll definitely want to expand out our food a lot. Ooh, let's see how much the windmill improves. So, uh, base output plus high fertility. I think because nobody's working the windmill, it's not going to improve the efficiency. But we added in a bunch of farms, so hopefully... We'll have a greater, we'll have a much better harvest this time around. Losing a lot to exposure. My lord, people visited our kingdom, but none saw fit to stay. Did we improve lives a little bit? Yes, we need to build these people the library. 
All right, where's the library? I'll get that started. 75 gold. They get in the library. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, when we come back next time, shoot, we'll uh, build the library, really give the, we'll build the library, we'll build the church, hopefully give the peasants what they want, lay out some more road here, uh, probably clear out this whole area for residential, uh, incorporate some more commercial up here, expand out our farm reach, and for the love of God, raise some tax dollars. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Until then, guys, be seeing you.